As we have seen, SpaceX conducted a single-engine static fire test on Starship S-26 at suborbital pad A at Starbase earlier today. It was the first static fire of any Starship since the first integrated flight of Starship back in April. Before the test, Starship S-25 was once again stacked on top of Booster 9 maybe for the fourth time this month ahead of upcoming tests and a full wet dress rehearsal. SpaceX is confident that they will receive the FAA license soon. Recently, SpaceX expressed its frustration on how slow the federal body is handling a program like Starship. A road closure notice has been issued primarily for Sunday. Note the highlighted text. Two separate Starships will undergo testing on the same day, which could be a partial fill of the full stack and a full six-engine static fire test of S-26. What do you think? All systems are on track for tonight's launch of the Starlink 7-5 mission from SLC-4E at Vandenberg. Don't forget to tune in. Indian Space Agency, ISRO's attempt to launch the TVD-1 mission faced an anomaly. The TVD-1 mission is a test flight of the crew escape system for the Gaganyan Human Space Flight Program. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Hold is observed. The launch was aborted just five seconds before liftoff as the engine on the booster failed to ignite. ISRO's chief said teams will soon announce a new launch date after analyzing what went wrong. Good morning all of you. Uh, this is from SDSC Shar. The, uh, the liftoff attempt of TVD1 uh, could not happen today. The, initially the launch was scheduled at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. There was a postponement of the liftoff time to 8.45 due to weather situation. And uh, we had a very smooth ALS, uh, the automatic launch sequence leading up to the command to lift off uh, the, the engine. But the engine ignition has not happened in the nominal uh, course. Uh, we have to find out what went wrong with that. Uh, the vehicle is safe. The, all the entire vehicle is very safe. Uh, we will have to reach the vehicle and then look at what has happened now. Uh, we will come back soon after analyzing what has uh, triggered the automatic launch sequence holding the vehicle. So what has happened is the onboard, the computer which is doing this function, the ground checkout computer which is doing the function has withheld the launch in view of the anomaly observed. So we will come back with the anomaly uh, understanding and correct it and schedule the launch very soon. Uh, that will be announced a little later after the analysis is completed. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us for this launch attempt today. Uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye. That is it for this short update video.